welcome to Mind Behind Advanced Course. In a previous video, I explained how to connect AI to AI provider. Today, I'd like to work on AI itself. Before I explain all of those buttons that you can see in here, like train, conversation report, and prediction threshold, I'd like to start with the most important part of use AI, which is intent. An intent is our user's intention for one conversation turn. For your chatbot, you can define many intents which you fit with utterances or training phrases. When the users come to your chatbot for their specific intention, your AI action will match this intention to one of the training phrases defined by you earlier and send your user to the correct response to finish one conversation turn. For example, let's say that we are creating a small talk agent. The user comes to the chatbot and asks what the name of our chatbot is. There are many different ways in which the user can ask this question. What we need to do to understand user's utterance is that fit our AI with different grammar structures that our users can come to the chatbot and for variations of our sentences, let's let AI do its job. First, let's give a general name to our intent, so in the future we will be able to modify it and add more utterances. We assume that our users will ask for a name of the chatbot. So let's call the first intent, for example, simply, what's your name? And create. Now let's go to our intent, what's your name? And in here we can add utterances like, What's your name? Tell me your name. To train our AI well, we recommend to add at least 10 or 15 different utterances. As soon as my user asks me this question, I will add a message action where we tell the name of the chatbot and our user's question will be fulfilled. So let's answer this question with send message and then let's connect this intent, what's your name, with our answer, which we will implement in message action. Now let's go to message action and simply write our answer. And since we expect that our user will answer these questions, how can I help you? Then we connect our message action back to AI action to give our users some creative power to ask new questions. So the more utterances you prepare, the better your AI will be trained. You can, as, you can add as many utterances as you need. You can implement some typos, grammar mistakes, different structures that we can say that our users can use to ask this question. So now that we understand what an intent is, let's have a look at entities, which make life only a lot easier while we are training our AI action. About entities, you can learn more in our next video. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a lot. Have a good day.